of reckoning. In any city, in any country, go to any museum you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, state very politely that you wish to visit the Holder of Reckoning. Once you finish making your request, wait. The man at the desk will look at you with disbelief, then sigh. If you are afraid or uncertain of your success, leave. Leave the city and never come back. But if you are confident and brave, then look into his eyes and repeat in a determined voice, you want to visit the Holder of Reckoning. The man will rise reluctantly from his seat and ask you to follow him. He will lead you through a maze of hallways. Don't lose sight of him. There will be several turns, and the more you progress, the faster he will walk. But don't lose sight of him, or you will be lost in the maze of hallways and wandering till eternity. If you manage to follow him, he will stop in front of a wooden door and give you a key. Then he will walk away. After he has vanished from your sight, turn to the door, or be prepared for an eternity of pain where death seems like a blessing. When he is gone and you are assured of it, open the door and walk in. Close the door. Lock the door with the key provided, but don't forget to take out the key after locking it. You will find yourself in a large hall. The door will vanish. Look carefully. The hall is filled with paintings with extremely beautiful frames. Don't stare at the paintings. The paintings depict the most disgusting and horrible crimes ever committed by humans. If you stare at a painting, you'll soon find yourself inside the horrible scene and will be forced to endure torture till eternity, and insanity will be the only consolation. The hall will be extremely large, and the roof won't be visible. Start walking forward. As you progress, you will start hearing painful noises. People screaming in agony, cries of children, and inhuman roars. As you will proceed, the noises will only increase. Soon you will find yourself in another hallway. It is of ancient design, and in its walls hang paintings of you. Every sin you committed, every lie you spoke, small or big, every crime you did, everything and their horrible consequences. Then there will be paintings of your future. You committing horrible deeds with objects in your possession. Many go mad after seeing this. As you proceed, the hallway will become increasingly old and wrecked. Don't stop. Just keep walking, or what awaits you better not be described. Those noises will be increasing in both volume and intensity as you proceed. Should they stop suddenly, speak loudly but politely. I don't want to interrupt your judgment. All I seek is knowledge. If the noises resume, you are lucky. If not, then pray that your death be quick. If everything goes right and you reach the end, you will be standing in front of a huge door. Unlock it with your key. You will find yourself in an arena. The spectators are such beings whose very description will force a person of weak will to insanity. There will be a weapon rack by your left. There is a sword, a dagger, and a mace. Choose your weapon. Your opponent will choose a weapon as well. You will now realize your opponent is none other than the person you love most. It's an illusion. Don't be tricked, or else you will meet a gruesome end by the hands of the creature disguised as your loved one. As soon as you grab your weapon, decapitate your opponent, or, if you have chosen the mace, crush the head. The creature will revert back to its original form and die. If you delay, then your head will be crushed instead, and you will be eaten. After your opponent falls, 
Kneel and lower your head, and close your eyes. Now ask, when will the day of reckoning come, and what is my duty? A creature will stand in front of you. Its appearance is so inhuman, just looking at it may make you a lunatic. So keep your eyes closed, and listen as the creature in a strange voice tells you about the objects. If they are used for evil, what they are capable of, and the carnage and destruction they will bring if they come together. The morbid tale will be long, but you must listen carefully and never let your attention falter, or you will be awarded a gruesome death. After the creature has spoken, thank him, then look up. There will be no sign of the arena, the demons, or the holder. In front of you will be a complete set of armor, all blood red, a helmet, cuirass, shoes, gauntlets, and greaves. No matter how large or small you are, the armor will fit you perfectly. When the day of reckoning comes, and they come together, this armor will protect you and give you strength beyond human ability. It's up to you how you use it. This armor set is object 1994 of 2538. The end is soon to come. Will you be the protector or destroyer?